Hello everyone and welcome to a spooky episode of Emerald News! Wow! Spooky! Ah! Okay, anyways, um, enough with the uh, possibly making people deaf, which if, uh, uh, I, I, I'm sorry if that hurt in your ears, but, uh, yeah, today we have a rather spooky episode of Emerald News, because all three of these news is that we're talking about are all horror-related, because for some reason, and I'm, I'm not mad about it, I'm actually happy about it, but for some reason, a bunch of horror indie developers just decided to dump a bunch of information on us. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot from, like, we got stuff from, like, the fanverse, we got stuff from Mob Games, or the developers of Poppy, we got stuff from the developers of Dark Deception, and even, I don't even know, that's not worth keeping a secret, it's already in the thumbnail. That's right, Bendy's coming back, but before we talk about that, let's talk about the first thing, which is, finally, Dark Deception is getting a full release, or not, not full release, uh, physical release, yeah, physical release. Now, here's the thing, I'm not going to play the original Dark Deception, mostly because I'm not really the biggest fan of games with mazes, because, you know, especially if they don't really have a map, and let's just say I'm not really a big fan of the whole maze thing. Although, just because I say that doesn't mean I wouldn't play its multiplayer version and Super Dark Deception. Which, even if Super Dark Deception is a maze game, at least it's top down, so I actually know what, I'm, what I'll be doing. But yeah, this is really exciting. So, uh, next one is there is going to be some sort of free to play spin off of Poppy's Playtime called Project Playtime, which is supposed. Which is supposed to be the original game, but it's co-op, which, you know, that seems fun, and hopefully I can maybe get one of my friends to play it with me. And again, it's free to play, so... No, knowing mob games, I wouldn't be surprised if there was microtransactions. Like, I wouldn't be surprised at all, considering how fast merchandise and a movie were being made. Okay, even if the movie is still being, like, considered, but still, like, jeez, I... Uh, and, and again, we, the third chapter isn't even out yet, and there's already a spin-off. Although, again, I'm not really that mad, because first of all, it is free. And second of all, I, I don't know, it... I don't know, it just seems fun. It's like, it's really the only... I think it's really the only Poppy Playtime thing that I might get. So, uh, yeah. And then finally, the biggest news. Bindi in the Ink Machine is coming back. That's right, the website was rebranded, and recently, the post- or not poster, like a picture of the trailer arriving tomorrow has been revealed. And this is honestly surprising considering, you know, all of the legal trouble that Joey Drew Studios has been going through. So, uh, yeah, I'm honestly kind of surprised how, like, development on the game was able to continue. But, you know, part of me feels like Fat Mojo bought part of the Bindi franchise and they're using their money to get the developers to actually do stuff with this. Or something like that. But yeah, I'm actually pretty excited. And even if, if I'll be perfectly honest, I've only played chapter one of Bindi and couldn't even beat chapter two. I I'm, I'm gonna play the sequel anyways. Even if, again, I literally just said I... D yeah, d uh, you know, never mind, but still. I'm excited for all this stuff, and uh, yeah. So anyways, um... Actually, before I do in this video, I do want to say that I'm sorry I didn't really have anything planned. It's just, you know... Sadly, I have school. Well, it's not just that, but also procrastination. Procrastination's a bitch, not gonna lie. And, uh, yeah, those were really the two main factors why I couldn't really come up with anything special. But, but don't worry, don't worry. I do have more special type of content planned in the future, so, uh, yeah. So, yeah, anyways. 
that was it for the video. Make sure you all subscribe and like for more, and I'll see you all later. Peace out, home guards, and goodbye!